Hi guys, today I'm reviewing the Chef's Choice 250 Diamond Hone Hybrid Knife Sharpener. This unit is designed to sharpen fine edge and serrated knives, sports and pocket knives. The diamond abrasive discs that shave off metal to sharpen your knife are going to last longer because diamond is such a hard material. This Chef's Choice sharpens at a primary angle of 20 degrees. It has three sharpening stages. One and two are motor driven and three is manual honing and polishing stage. This is called a hybrid sharpener since it combines electric and manual stages. It's supposed to create a razor sharp arch shaped edge that's long lasting and durable. With stage one, the diamond abrasive discs remove the dull edge and you'll get a sharp edge at 20 degrees on each side of the blade. There are two knife guiding slots, left and right. Stage two has finer diamond abrasives at a slightly larger angle to create a small second bevel along the edge. There are again two guiding slots, left and right. At stage three, the edge is lightly honed and polished. It has one guiding slot that centers the blade, so both sides of the edge are honed at the same time. With stage one and two, always follow an alternating pattern of sharpening in the left and right slots, so both sides of the edge are sharpened alike. This sharpener measures nine inches long, three and a half inches wide, and three and three quarters inches tall. It weighs 2.29 pounds. It'll take about two minutes to sharpen your knives the first time. The cord length is about 34 inches. Plug the cord in and the on off button is right here. If you want to get the sharpener, there's a link right below this video. I'll sharpen an eight inch serrated knife, nine inch chef's knife, eight inch knife, and a six inch cleaver. Make sure the knives are clean before you sharpen them. Wipe them dry. Make sure the stage numbers are facing you when you sharpen the knives. We'll do stage one first, alternating left and right, then stage two, alternating left and right, and then turn the unit off and do stage three. Push the power switch on. Hold the sharpener with your left hand, put the knife in the slot on the left side, and pull it towards you. The edge of the knife should be touching the coated disc inside and you'll hear the sound. You don't have to push down with the knife, just hold it down lightly. If your knife is very dull, repeat this 10 times, 10 pairs. If your knife is not dull, five pairs is enough. For a six inch knife, it takes five seconds to make each pull. Of course, with a longer knife, give it a few more seconds and decrease the time with a shorter knife. When you're done with stage one, check the knife edge to make sure there's a small burr along one side of the edge. Slide your finger across and away from the edge carefully. You'll feel a little bit of a catch as you go over the edge. The burr is going to be on the side you sharpened last. Don't move on to stage two without creating a burr on the edge. Check for a burr. I can feel a little catch, so there is a burr. Stage two. For stage two, again, you pull on the left and then the right. You only have to pull once or twice. Same amount of time for each pull, about five seconds for a six inch knife. Check for a bar along the edge. It'll be slightly smaller than stage one. And now we can move on to stage three with the unit turned off. Put the knife in the slot and move it back and forth five to ten times. Don't lift the knife. When you're done, wipe off the blade with a cloth. To resharpen, use only stage three. After several resharpenings, you can use stage two and then three. Now I'll do the 8 inch. Stage two.
Now stage three. The cleaver next. With the cleaver, you have to adjust your hand and push it down a little more. I don't feel a burr, so I'm gonna continue with stage one. If there is no burr, pull the knife again very slowly. Now I can move on to stage two. You can sharpen the serrated blade using stage three. About 25 back and forth pairs of strokes. If it's very dull, make two fast pairs of pulls alternating right and left in stage two, and then 25 pairs in stage three. Don't make more strokes in stage two because too much of the metal from the edge could be removed. To clean, wipe the exterior with a damp soft cloth, Shake out any metal dust, turn it over, and lightly tap onto a paper towel. Don't use any honing oils or water with the sharpener. Now let's test the knives out to see if they're sharp. I'll use my 9-inch Wusthof knife to cut some vegetables. This is my favorite knife. This is what I use every day. Knife goes right through very cleanly. Slices perfectly without any resistance.
This is the eight inch knife. This knife has not been sharpened in ages and you can see how nice of a job it did. Tomatoes are sliced beautifully. Eight inch knife. They all pass the paper test. There are other models that are a better choice for Asian style blades, and I'll put a link to those below this video. So if you use mostly Asian style knives, it's best to get another model and not the one in this review. And this unit is not recommended for ceramic knives or scissors. There is another model that's good for sharpening scissors, and I'll also put a link to that below this video. This unit is designed well. There's no space for the knife to move around when pulling. It's very smooth. If you want to get the sharpener, there's a link right below this video. As always, I hope you found this review helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more reviews.